Welcome back to a special decimal episode of Salt and Vinegar, where we won't do anything that makes progress. You thought Kingdom Hearts was hard. Kingdom Hard. Kingdom Shards. <laughs> Chode, Kingdom Shards, is there any other <laughs> elementary school joke I should laugh at? Genius. Oh my god, not that cat. <laughs> The only us Sphinx cat I have space in my heart for is Beerus. Also known as the only other good track ball film. I'm pretty sure the only reason that Bingus became popular is that it's a Sphinx cat that doesn't have any wrinkles. No, what? Doesn't it have wrinkles? What? I mean, it has wrinkles, but it doesn't have a lot. It has a lot less than you usually see on Sphinx cats. One of my favorite pictures of a Sphinx cat is just it in the Beerus cosplay. <laughs> Shoutouts to Akira Toriyama. See, they... God made a breed of cats with no hair. What they should have done is make a breed of cats with no claws. They wouldn't survive. Also, I think it's like 22 or something. Yeah. Also, I can one-shot Abra's now. Nice. I want it to evolve before we fight Brawly. Brawly. As I said, I'm very scared of this gym battle, of this... The fucking second gym in the game usually kicks my ass, and I'm sure there are a lot of other people who play the game who say the same thing. No one man should have all that power. Probably. <laughs> oh, indeed, my friends. Yes, this is Pokemon Miranda. Imagine doing this, but without the fast forward. For hours. And liking it. Imagine liking it, because I do. <laughs> same, same fucking here. It's so cathartic. When God made me, He made a sociopath because I enjoy this. That's honestly the kind of thing I don't like about a lot of, like the mobile games I've tried too. Is that like there's not really active combat. You just tell your character what to do and they do it. Oh yeah, there's no such thing as mobile games with good gameplay. But I mean, like it's, it's, it's like this, where you like you tell the character what to do and they do it. That's my biggest. Like, yeah. Like, like, you know, I tried, I tried, um, like, I kind of looked into Esco, I looked into Magia Record, and yeah, it, it, it was very passive. So yeah, what you want in video games is something that feels vicarious. It feels like you're actually doing it. What yeah. a word, vicarious. Yeah, uh, it was one of my words of the day in 11th grade. Alright, thank you. <laughs> I, that's my biggest issue with most RPGs. It's the only reason I play, like, Pokemon, Dragon Quest, and Persona. And even then, I haven't played a lot of the latter two. A lot of my respects for Pokemon come from just growing up on it. Like, I... I, I am disappointed in how Pokemon Go, the comment, is just tapping on the screen, but at least, at least you're actively doing something. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can play Pokemon. Pokemon's so good, though. It's a great game, yeah. It died. I, I What's, what's like an easy fighting game for a beginner? Pokémon Smash. Pokémon is honestly pretty good for beginners because it's not anything like a normal fighting game. Let's huh. see. So we got Pokémon, we got Smash, uh, Lethal League. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Lethal League is perfect for that kind of stuff. Lethal League also has a great aesthetic, and the music's phenomenal. Um, there's a bunch of like those like one hit KO fighting games like Dive Kick, Fantasy Strike, Nidhogg. Nidhogg's great. I love Nidhogg to death. Where it's just like, you know, you get hit once you die, and that's kind of the whole thing. It's like accelerated learning. If you want like an actual traditional fighting game, that's also pretty easy to pick up. Like your Marvel vs. Capcoms, your Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, oh, wow, it didn't evolve. Okay, when does it evolve? I also, dis I also disagree with mobile games not being very good, because I actually... The reason I didn't get into Monkey Ever was because it was too complicated for me. And the also the reason I never got into I wanted to get into uh Mob Live because like 25. I I like rhythm games, but it was too complicated. Well, I think twenty well actually look up look up the I'm not talk, talking over you, sorry. Uh look up the level of Brawly's uh Pokemon. I just don't like mobile games. Cause I use my phone to read manga and uh, uh let me look him up. Brawly Emerald. I use my phone to read manga and I'll use it to watch like videos and like I've, I've transferred over a few episodes of Dragon Ball GT or Kamen Rider or whatever to like watch when I'm like on a plane ride or something, which isn't often. But like games just eat up your battery and I have a Switch. Yeah. I have a DS. I have a Game Boy. Like I don't need 
The most I could get from my phone is emulation, but even then... So first and foremost, a lot of mobile games are on the Switch now, because... Yeah, they just, they just are. And even then, if I really wanted to, I could just hack my Switch for emulation. Yeah. Then again, if you have a 3DS, that's a lot easier. Exactly, and, yeah. A lot easier and safer to hack. Exactly. And I think you can... I think it's to the point where you can emulate PS1 games on a 3DS. That's insane. I know. Do you see that thing that I retweeted the other day? It was a, it was a guy with a with an N64 that he modded to be as small as possible. Is the cartridge size? Yeah. Yeah, the cartridge size was the only thing limiting its size. And I was like, how? And a lot of people were like, well, tech just got tiny. And I'm like, that's not the part that amazes me. The part that amazes me is uh, them. Is it? It has to read the cartridge. Yeah. Like, obviously you can just make a tiny Raspberry Pi or whatever, but no, the part that amazes me is that it reads the cartridge and it's that small. Okay, so Machop, level 16, Metatite, level 16, Makahita, level 19. Okay, I'm, a, I'm ahead of all of those. Do you think I'll be fine? Possibly. The only moves they have are fighting. That's literally it. Like, it's... And there's, like, some psychic nonsense here, but they're not physical. Wow, this is a fucking awful team. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Yeah, okay, so... What level is, uh, what's, what's our friend at? Uh, we're both Grovile and Wingler at 20. So now I'm just leveling up Female Dog. I'm getting her to a point where she can fight the things in this cave on her own. But right now I'm just switch trading. We're not going to throw her in at all during the Brawly fight. No, no, I just want to go ahead and get everything to this point so I don't have to grind like this later. We are not... Hang on, let me Google this to make the joke extra effective. Hang on, give me a second. Yeah. Yeah. We are not Sean Kingston because we are not suicidal. <laughs> Song. I don't know if he's actually suicidal. Beautiful girls. They only want to know your dirt. They'll have you suicidal. Suicidal. And they say it's over. Man, I'll... Fuck, man. That was... One of my favorite childhood memories was just playing Halo 3 or Battlefield 3 while, like, listening to the radio right next to me. I love... Some of my best memories involve listening to the radio as a kid. Uh, also, when the fuck does this thing learn bite? I could have it fighting stuff now if it actually had a decent move. I was about to type on... Type out female dog gen 3 once. Pooch, Deanna... Pooch, Deanna... Give me suicidal, suicidal. Now we're fussing, now we're fighting. Please tell me why I'm being. It learns bite at level 13. Seriously, it takes that long for it to learn a decent move? Yeah. Does it learn anything before 13? Uh, yeah, but it learns sand attack. Fucking sand attack? Dude! It only learns... Let's see, okay, so from Tackle at level 1, it takes up to level 13 to get Bite. And then after that, level 41 for the next actual attack. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Most Pokemon have fucking stupid movesets until, like, Gen 6. Yeah. Oh, look, there's your there's your thing. Pochana. Well, Oh, we did it. She's alive. What were, what were some other bops from the late 2000s? Uh... Eminem was all over the radio. Yes. That man had, like, two songs with Rihanna. He did. He had that one song, the, just gonna stand there, you know, the, the Love the Way You Lie. And he also yeah. had a My Friends with Monster. The monsters that under my bed. One of my favorite TikToks ever is that one. Stop cat was freaking scratching the couch again. One of my favorite uh, vines was that line, I'm friends with the monster that's under my bed, and it shows uh, this guy playing cards with like two green arms outstretched from under the bed. <laughs> uh, fine. I, I... That's how most YouTubers make their money. Yeah. Also, uh, Puchiana almost died. Puchiana. I should have trained, I guess I should have trained these guys up a little bit before I came to this island. What the hell are these houses? They have signs on them. Are they important? 
Do uh, those free items? This is like the Pokemon fan club, I think. Oh no, Duford Hall. It's where you, uh, you like pass the popular phrase. Oh yeah. The trendy phrase. To this day, I don't know what the fuck the point of that is. World building, I guess. Yeah. Because you see other people all around the place say it, but you can only say like a few pre-selected terms. So it's kind of dumb. Imagine if you could like say the name of your Pokemon, and it would just be like, "I like Procreate." <laughs> That would be an easy way to get it. <laughs> no, you didn't have to laugh at that. Stefan Molyneux, or Molyneux, however you pronounce that idiot's name. There's also a game developer with, like, a name that's dangerously close okay, to Okay, I forgot that this thing's weak to that. Oh my god. <laughs> Go heal. See, this is why we made this a decimal episode, so you didn't have to watch this if you were, like, only interested in seeing us making progress, but, uh, if you miss out on any banger inside jokes from this episode, you'll know. I will... I hope someone doesn't watch this episode, because they're like, oh, it's filler. And then I will make my own inside joke the next episode, and I'll be like, you should have watched the last episode, but then they watch it, and they're like, wait, that wasn't in there at all. the <laughs> the next episode, you should do a thing where it's like... Last time on whatever, you should just, and then you should just play like your inside joke, just take it out of context. Last time on Salt and Vinegar, beautiful girls. girls. That one would be great, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, what are other good songs from that time? Uh, the, didn't Sean Kingston also do the song by God, nah, or is that someone else? That is, I think that's R. Kelly. No. I, I'm, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm wrong. gonna look this up. I, we're not, I, I we're not racist, we're just stupid children. Yeah, we're just stupid children. It's a genre thing, not a not a race thing. Oh wait, fuck. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> I was just gonna say we were eight at the time, dude. We were eight at the time. And all I know about somebody called 911 is the fucking Fred movie. Uh, it was. Yeah, it was Sean Kingston. So who is Red One? What the fuck? Is that I like, have the producer? Never heard of that person's name before. 2009. I'm gonna look up the 2009. This is a white ass man. He's a Moroccan Swedish dude. That's gotta be like the producer or something. I'm gonna look up 2009 top 40. Let's see. Boom Boom Pow by the Black Eyed Peas. Ah, yes. Julian, the uh, representative of Zara. What year are you looking at? 2009. 2009. I was in. I was in sixth grade, I think. I was nine, so I was in fourth, I think. Also, speaking of the Black Eyed Free, uh, <laughs> speaking of the Black Eyed Peas, uh, you know their song G6. Yeah. As a kid, I always thought they were saying G6. Wait, that's not that's not their song. <laughs> they don't have the song G6. Wait, I thought that was Black Eyed Peas. No, 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 no. It's like some white woman one hit wonder. Are you sure that's not Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas? It's by Deb. Okay, no, that's not. Okay, but I thought I thought she was saying cheese sticks. I remember one time when I was dating my first ex. Uh, this was like 2016. She was like, "You should make a Facebook so we can like have each other in our relationship or whatever." So I did, but she was stupid because she didn't delete all of her old posts. And then fucking, what year did this song come out? 2010. I scroll all the way to the bottom. And she's just posting the song lyrics, and I'm like, "Wow." And she's like, "Alex, fucking stop." Dev. I have never heard any other song by Dev. I'm pretty sure they're one hit wonder. It really is just a random white woman. She's a rapper? What the fuck? Okay. Also, I just realized Puchina has run away, which means it can flee any wild battle ever. Puchana. Which might come in handy. What else was. Okay, so we got Boom Boom Pow at number one. We got Poker Face at number two. The classic. Of course. I think that's the year that I'm the first or second Arcade Fire album came out. Okay, fire? Is that a band? Yes, yes. A oh. hipster band. Yeah, that's... yeah, they're yeah, they're kind of hipster. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just dance by Lady Gaga. I got a feeling. Fuck. Oh, that love story song by Taylor Swift. Right round by Flo Rida. Oh God, I was obsessed with Taylor Swift and at the yeah. When Marry I said me, Julian. You'll never have me around. Jonathan, do you remember when Alpharad was obsessed with Taylor Swift for some reason? Oh, of course I do. Yeah, yeah. Now I can't stand her. Was that a bit? Like, what was the point of that? No, I think you really liked her music. I hear she's actually a great like musician, but like, I just don't care. 
Like what a what a what a thing to be obsessed with, I guess. Well, you know he like he he was in the music. He was trying to be a musician at some point. He's still a musician. Oh, really? Good for him. Yeah, he's released like an album recently. I'll Damn, honest, good for him. I don't really care for his newer content, but I'm sure he makes good songs. Ben likes them. I like Alpharad Plus more, to be honest. I do too. I don't know. There's something about like the main channel that feels. I don't want to say manufactured, because get your bag. Yeah, get your bag, man. But I definitely like... It's the whole reason why I prefer, like, doing, like, uncut, unedited yeah, yeah. content. Because it, it's more chill. It's more laid back. Whereas, like, with the high cuts and all the edits and all the flashing things, I just... That's why I like FWAB more than Alpharad right now, to be honest. That's why I, uh... That's why I don't edit my shit. Like, on, on God. Like, that's why my Left 4 Dead playthroughs with my friends are just us, like monkey braining into the microphone. Like, obviously get the audio to where it, be, where it needs to be, but other than that, no editing. Of course. Also, uh, I'm Yours. Do you remember that song? Oh, of course I do, yeah. I hate that song. Isn't that Jason Mraz? Yeah. I... I don't fuck, man. I don't fuck, man. There are a lot of songs from that, era that, from that era that I hated the time. I hated them at the time, but I've come to appreciate them now. No, I still hate this one. I used to hate Bruno Mars as a kid, but I actually really like his older stuff now. Yeah. Bruno Mars is gay? The rumor come out. Because I was a fucking child! I can't relate to Heartbreak. And now I listen to it and I'm like, I would. I would catch a good name for I guess I would. I like the song I should have bought you flowers. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot about that one. It's a good song. His newer stuff's alright too, I guess. Although now I definitely do prefer his slower stuff. Female dog has learned bite. Uh, single ladies was up there. And I'm still not a fan of that. Heartless by Kanye was up there. I just listened to that album. Which album is 808 and 808s and Heartbreaks? Yes. That is a mm, fucking great album. I think it's my third favorite album. It's Graduation, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, 808s and Heartbreaks. That's how I rank it so far. God damn! If only Puchiana was faster than the Abra, it would be able to one-shot it. Uh, oh, gives you help. Oh yes, we just heard that on the radio. Was that today or yesterday? That was today. Yeah. We heard gives you hell. Then they played Black Parade. Then they wow. played My Own Worst Enemy by Lit. Wow. Three of my favorite songs. And then a couple songs before that, they played. Oh, what was it? Something by Linkin Park. Um. Breaking the Habit. Yeah, Breaking the Habit. That's a good song. That's one of the earliest songs I can remember listening to as a child. Wow. Uh, it's okay, the earliest song I can remember hearing is Creep by Radiohead. And thank you. I don't know what the earliest song I can remember is. Apparently when I was a toddler, my parents would ask me what my favorite song was, and I'd say, I like Creep by Radiohead. Ah, actually, Creep! Oh my god, you know, what's, you know what's actually hilarious? You should ask Mom or Tori about this, but apparently when... When... Tori, my sister, was a toddler. She would swing on her little swing set and sing High and Dry by Radiohead. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, there are two separate Tories, technically three. Uh, Miranda has a sister named Tori. I have a girlfriend named Tori. I also have a sister named Tori. They're all not related. Just for the record. And then I have a completely separate friend named Tori. There's a lot of Tories. It was weird seeing my girlfriend for the at the start, because I was like, ah, oh, you have the same name as my sister. And then I realized I'm an adult, and I don't care. If, if, I, if my fucking soulmate, which I'm not going to say Tori is my soulmate on camera, I'm not that fucking stupid. Um, but if my soulmate had the same name as, like, me. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Well, go release that bitch. Yeah. We got Fuck. careless. Fuck. Stadians, we got cocky. We, mu we mustn't be careless. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even gonna try and bullshit that one. That was just on me. I'm looking for more songs. Dead and Gone featuring Justin Timberlake by T.I. Do we want to have a dead box or do we want to release Put them in a graveyard so we can like keep track of it all. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. We got, uh, Kiss Me Through the Phone! <laughs> Soldier Boy! I wanted to have at least a third Pokemon leveled up to the point of Wingle and Grovile. Do you want to do? Do you want to do Nincada? Yeah, let's do Nincada. Hell, we can get Nincada up to level twenty. Isn't that when he involves? Yes. Graveyard. Graveyard. Turn up. Well, we have to put this in. <laughs> let's take us singing "Beautiful Girls" and overlay it over Poochyena dying. 
<laughs> suicidal, suicidal when they say it's over. Holy shit! <laughs> Was our singing that bad? The cat just leapt like a foot into the air. Leave the spot empty for now so we can grind up Ninkata. Exactly. Is there a better spot to grind or are we kind of trapped here? I mean, we can go back if you want. We Wait, we have the old rod. We do, We yes. could catch a Magikarp in this town specifically. Not the route, but in this town. Yes. And then we grind in this town because we'll only get Magikarps. And I think Goldeens, but Goldeens will not be that big of a cause of alarm. Oh, the climb by Miley Cyrus. I remember that. Okay, Gigi just left on top of the washing machine. My life would suck without you, Kelly Clarkson. I don't remember that one, if I'm being honest. I remember it, but I'm not going to sing it, because I don't care for Kelly Clarkson. I, yeah, me neither. Day and Night by Kid Cudi? That song's this old? Wow. Hot and Cold by Katy Perry. Here we go. What, what do we got, guys? What do we got? Yep. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Yo! 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 Dear God, Lady Gaga ran in 2009. She sure did. Love lockdown. Was that on Italy's Heartbreaks? I don't think it was. Yo! Yo! Oh! Fish! <laughs> well, now we have to evolve it. But for now, we'll put it in the box since we're working on Nikata. Put it in the box. Not in that box. What's in the box? Crack a bottle. I feel like such a fucking fool. Viva la vida. Chunks would load when I gave the word. <laughs> Fireflies. I like that song, actually. I, wait, why are we not grinding in the, uh, with the magic cards? Because that takes forever to encounter one. Oh, well, yeah. All right, fine. I I'm thinking what's time efficient. But also won't get it killed like what I did. Thought we were about to lose another one right there. No, we're not going to fucking lose. Oh. Robot with something like that. If you seek Amy, I remember that one. I remember all the school kids being like, "Bro, bro, say it out, say it out loud." If you seek Amy, say it. Now slow it down. F U C K E, bro. Wait, who did that song? Britney Spears. Oh, yeah, that's not surprising. I hope she's okay. Yeah. Twenty One Guns by Green Day. I like that song. I don't know that song. You never won. Twenty One Guns. Actually, no, I do know that song. Yeah. You're right. Same. Need to kill a eh. uh, One time by Justin Bieber. Uh, let's not acknowledge anything by him. Oh, fuck. I honestly don't know if there will be a point when I can actually grind with Ninkata that comes before it evolving. Uh, look, look at its. Tell me what its learn set is. In a second. Now I'm looking over 2007's uh, thing because that was when I played Halo 3. That was the year of the map. All right, uh, Ninkata Gen 3 learn set. All right, so. It learned. What level is it at now? It's at seven. At nine, it learns sand attack. At fourteen, it, le it learns fury swipes. At, um, at nineteen, it learns mind reader. False swipe. Yeah, it doesn't learn a lot of good stuff. Can you tell me where to get the XP share in this game? Oh, it's not for a while. Uh, really? Because in platinum, I got it pretty early on. I'm pretty sure it's not for a while. Emerald. Emerald XP do I get the air species and emerald or quite you get it from the Devon president in Rustboro after having delivered his letter to Stephen and Dufer. Oh well, fuck. Have we delivered the letter? Oh wait uh yeah let, let, let's do that. Where's Steven? Is he in the mines? Is he here? Uh I think he is in like the deepest part of the cave. Which is not a big cave. So we back Oh fuck. 
Okay, who do we want to learn Flash? Well, let's see who can learn it. I know Groval can. If we... If we teach it to Ninkata, we'll both... Shedinja and, uh... Fuck, what's the other one? I believe with the evolution, everything is treated like Shedinja is Ninkata, and... No, wait, no, no. Ninjash... Ninjask, Ninjask right. is Ninkata, and Shedinja is just a new Pokemon entirely. That's what I believe the case is. Shedinja, or Ninja, but fuck. Ninkata's gonna learn Sand Attack anyway, if he hasn't already. And this is basically Sand Attack, isn't it? Yeah. Sure, why not? Why not? We don't get that for a while, though. Go to Rispero, go into Devon Corp, talk to the president, ask... Him. Oh wait, I can't use Flash yet until I get the gym badge. Oh, right. Should I wait to do this then? Yeah, you should leave. We're at a high enough level to where we can pop him, I think. Yeah, well, I'm sorry guys, this was a pretty fucking useless episode. I'm uh, grinded. We grinded. We grinded nothing but a Pokemon that died. Man, why'd you have to say it like that? But yeah, uh, fucking, y yeah, you know what? We made this decimal episode anyway, so it's your fault for watching. Uh, see you next time when we actually do shit. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Farewell. Adios. Adios, mococos. What the fuck did you just call me? Soy libre.